Hey guys, it's Ty. Today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial to show everybody how to unlock your iPhone 4S. Uh, this works for AT&T, Verizon, or Sprint, uh, version 5.1.1. Uh, we're going to be unlocking it for T-Mobile. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you here. I've got my T-Mobile SIM card. This is an actual uh, 128K 4G SIM card that I purchased from T-Mobile yesterday. Um, as you can see here, it's got these straight lines. This is what it looks like. Let's see if we can focus in a little bit. Okay. I'm having a hard time focusing there. But this one, uh, I actually went in and asked for the most recent uh, micro SIM card. You will need a 128K 4G SIM card for this to work for uh, iOS 5.1.1 baseband 2.0.12. Um, if you do not have the latest version, all it will do is say searching and uh, it will never actually connect. So you need to have the right SIM card for this to work. Um, then the next thing that we have here to unlock it is the RSIM3. Uh, this is a genuine RSIM3. We can tell it's a genuine RSIM3 because it is black first off. If we flip it around here on the bottom, you can see it says RSIM3 right there on the bottom. Okay. Uh, these come in a blue package with little water droplets on them. Um, there are some other versions of this. They're kind of a gold color. They still come in that blue package. Uh, but they're, they, they actually say Jevy Ultra S on them. I've never tried them before. I figured they were, uh, they were bogus or a knockoff because they say Jevy Ultra S and they come in an RSIM 3 package. However, I'm not sure. I've never tried them. I do know that these work and this is the one that we're going to be using today. Next thing that I'm going to show you is my iPhone. This is an iPhone 4S. It is a CDMA phone. It's currently on Sprint. And I'll go ahead and show you the information here in Settings General About. It's on, as you can see here, it's uh, version 5.1.1. It's uh, Sprint. And the modem firmware is 2.0.12. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing that we want to do before anything, if it is a CDMA phone, you will need to jailbreak it. If you don't know how to jailbreak it, I will provide instructions. It's, it's very, very easy. Um, all you need to do is go to uh, greenpoison.com. The last O is a zero in Green Poison. Then at the top, on the right-hand corner, you will see a link for um, Absinthe 2.0. You download that, run it on your computer, plug in your iPhone, click jailbreak, and wait for it to finish. Uh, it's as easy as that, guys. So once it is jailbroken, we are going to click on Cydia. Okay, now down at the bottom right corner here, you'll see Manage. It's the second one over. We're going to click Manage. Now we need to add a couple of sources. Uh, so what we need to do to add it is click Edit up here at the top right corner, and then Add. It'll pop up this little, uh, this little box. And then we're going to type in the first one that we'll type in is V dot backspace B A C K S P A C E dot J P forward slash repo R E P O. Okay, just like that guys. Once that is once you have put that in, you're gonna go ahead and hit add source. And then it will take you to this black screen here where it's going to do a bunch of stuff on your phone. Just wait patiently. As soon as it's done, it'll say return to Cydia at the bottom. And you're going to go ahead and click return to Cydia. Just like so. Now you'll notice at the top you've got your backspace repos. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on that. The second one down is com center patch. We want to click com center patch. We want to click install. Confirm. And then again, it'll kick us to this black page. It'll do a bunch of stuff. Once it's done, it'll go ahead and say return to city at the bottom. We're going to click that. Now that repo has been successfully installed. We need to add a couple, actually one more source here. So we're going to go back into manage sources and then click edit, add just like you did before. Um, the next one that we are going to do is, it is I, actually, excuse me www.igliv.cn forward slash Cydia. S-Y-D-I-A. Okay, just like that. 
Let's go ahead and hit Add Source again. Again, it's going to kick us back to this black screen. It only takes just a few seconds, but it's going to go ahead and add that source to our Cydia. Once that is complete, it'll give us the option to return to Cydia. We're going to go ahead and hit that. And then now we can see this Mr. Sim right here. At the bottom, you can see it says HTTP uh, colon forward slash www.igleave. Dot cn dot Cydia. that's the correct one right there we're gonna go ahead and click on that the one at the very top let's go back here it says iPhone 4s network package we're gonna go ahead and click that click install click confirm and then again we are going to wait uh, this one may have us reboot the phone once it's finished okay so we're gonna click reboot device now while this is rebooting we are going to take our T-Mobile SIM card our 4G 128K micro SIM, place it in with the RSIM 3. Uh, if you had your old uh, SIM tray in there, you want to take that out. Mine is already out, but we're going to go ahead and slide that in. And then we are going to wait here until our Apple device reboots. And at this point, uh, again, guys, uh, if you're on, if you're using a CDMA phone, if you're unlocking a Sprint or Verizon phone, you will need to to install those repos, so it will need to be jailbroken. If you're on AT and T, you don't have to do those. It is actually plug and play, so essentially, you would just pick up right here where we're at right now. Okay. So now we know our phone is on. We're going to slide to unlock. You're going to go into settings. We're going to uh, scroll down and right here you'll see phone. If it's not highlighted yet, just wait, it will be highlighted. And then you'll see SIM applications. We'll click SIM applications. Sometimes it does take a minute for SIM applications. Just be patient. Uh, try going in and then going back out and going in again until it does show up. If it never shows up, you may have a defective RSIM. Okay, so now what we're going to do, since this is a Sprint USA carrier, iPhone 4S, we are going to find US Sprint, which is right here, US SPR. We're going to click that. Now, if this were a Verizon phone, Verizon's down at the bottom. And if it were an AT&T phone, Verizon's the first one on the top. Once you've selected that, we're going to go ahead and shut off the phone again. Once the phone is shut off, we're going to go ahead and turn it back on. And then at this point, guys, all we have to do, everything is complete. Uh, so all we have to do is just wait for our bars of service and T-Mobile to show up at the top. Uh, you do want to be patient with this. It can take sometimes between one. I've even seen it take five minutes before to show up. It will show up. You just have to be patient. Okay, now that our phone is back on, we'll slide to unlock. And then here comes the waiting, guys. Okay, and one problem that some people may run into at this point, the phone has an automatic... Um, an automatic activation process where it kicks back to the beginning screen um, and then it will ask you to activate it. One way to get around this would be to come into your utilities, click voice memo, click record, and then you can pause it so that it doesn't record and then you home out. Now if it were to kick you back into the activation process at this point, you can actually just select uh, this, this top recording at the top. It'll bring you back to here. You can home button out and you've just skipped past the um, activation process. It may happen to some of you uh, where it kicks you into the activation screen or it may not. But this is just one way to get around it because that can be frustrating sometimes.
All right, guys, and there you go. If you look up at the top, we have T-Mobile. I will go ahead and make a test call just so that you can see. This phone is unlocked, and it will make calls, will send text messages, and does have Internet. It works perfect. All right, guys, there you go. If you have any issues or any questions, please let me know. Um, thank you very much for your time, and uh, happy unlocking.